Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about zip function in Python. So zip function will simply create the list of tuples. So let's see the example. Let's say list 1 equals 1, 2 and 3. And let's say list 2 equals A, B and C. Now let's create list 3 and in this list 3 we are going to use the zip function. So the first parameter we are going to use this list 1 and for the second parameter we are going to use this list 2. Here we are zipping this list 1 with list 2 and storing it in list 3. Here this list 3 is not a list yet. It is only a zip object so far. So if we try to print this list 3, now if we run this, it's printing, it's a zip object. So to create it a list, we have to convert this list 3 into list. So we can do list 3 equals, then we can use this list function and we can put list 3. So now this list tree is converted into a list. So now if we run this, as you can see, now the list tree is the list that contains the tuples. And if you take a look at this tuple items, the first item is one and A, second is two and B, and the third item is three and C. So here, because we are zipping this list one with list two, it is zipping the first item of list 1 with first item of list 2 then second item of list 1 with second item of list 2 and the third item of list 1 to third item of list 2 so that's why it created a tuple with 1a 2b and 3c and because we store it into list 3 now the list 3 is the list with the tuple values let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in list 1, we have 5 values, 1, 2, 5. But in list 2, we have just 3 values. And now if we try to zip this list 1 with list 2. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, the result is still the same. It ignored these two additional values. So in zip function, it selects the certest iterable. So here, the third iterable is list2 because it has three values. So that's why it creates the tuples with three values. But if we give two additional values in list2 as well, now if we run this, now it created this five tuples because in both list1 and list2 we have five values. Now let's see another example. So let's say language equals, so we have Python, Java, and let's say PHP. And let's create another list with the name framework. So for Python, we have Django framework. For Java, we have Spring framework. And for PHP, we have Laravel framework and now let's try to zip these two lists so let's create another list so let's say info equals zip and then we are going to zip language with framework and we can use the list function to convert it into a list so if we print the info and run this so we got Python language with Django framework, Java language with Spring framework and PHP language with Laravel framework. Now we can create a dictionary using this zip function. So for the dictionary, let's use this language items as the keys and let's use this framework items as the values. So what we can do is let's create a loop. So for key comma value in 
and let's use zip function so language and framework and before using the for loop let's create a dictionary so let's say my dictionary and let's give the empty values in this dictionary so inside for loop we will add my dictionary and for the key we have this key and for the value we have this value so key and value this zip language comma framework function is going to create this list of tuples so the first item in this zip function will be the tuple of this python and django so here this python will be stored in this key variable and this django will store in this value variable and actually i misspelled the django so it should be d g a n g o so in this my dictionary this key will have the value of python and value will have the value of this django so the first item of my dictionary will be python as the key and django as the value then in the second iteration of the loop it will have the values of java and spring so key will be java and value will be spring and in the third iteration the key will be php and the value will be laravel so in this my dictionary we will have three key value pairs so if we try to print my dictionary so let's run this and as you can see we have three key value pairs in the first item of this dictionary key is python with the value django in the second item key is java with the value spring and in the third item php is the key and laravel is the value so we created this my dictionary using the zip function by zipping these two lists and actually in the last video we learned about list comprehension and in the same way we can also use dictionary comprehension so instead of running this for loop we can do my dictionary equals and inside this curly braces we can type key then colon and value so these are the results that we are going to save in this dictionary and then we will use the for loop so for key comma value in zip and we will zip this language and framework and now we can just get rid of this for loop so this is the result that we are going to store in the my dictionary and this is the for loop that will create that result so in the for loop we are using key and value in the key it will take the values of this language and in the value it will take the values of this framework so this code will do the exact thing that we just did using the for loop and if you try to run this we still have this my dictionary with the keys of language and values of framework so that's how we can use zip function and we also saw the example of this dictionary comprehension so that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye